It's time now for our Athlete of the Week, and it's brought to you by Diamond Point in Sauk Center. And with us right now is a BBE basketball player. This is Brian Goodwin, who just scored 1,000 points. So, Brian, congratulations on that. Thanks. All right. Let's talk about, uh, first of all, tell us who's in your family, okay? Uh, I have my dad, my mom, older sister, and then two older brothers. All right. And your one brother is playing some college basketball, right? Yep. University of Wisconsin, River Falls. All right. Tell us, how, how is that going for him? He's liking it. He's not getting a lot of playing time, but he likes it there, so it's nice. Okay. And uh, to mention to your dad, and tell us what he does. Uh, he volunteered coaches here for us, so that's always nice having him there. Uh huh. And he's been doing that for how long? Uh, I think this is his third year, and then before that, he was a JV coach. Okay. You know, I'd like to ask you, uh, and not to get too personal with it, but what is it like having your dad as a coach? How does he treat you? Is he a little harder on you, easier, or, or what would you say? It's nice having him there. I mean, he always makes sure I'm working hard and always gives me a good input on what I'm doing, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. I've got to ask you, too, as a, as a parent, do you take this stuff home? Do you talk about it at home at all, or do you leave it here, or what? We talk about it at home quite a bit, I mean, especially after games and practices. We just talk about what happened. and. So it's always good. Well, that's kind of good, though, isn't it? Yep. All good. right. I want to ask you about this, some of the success that you have had. Uh, let me take you back, uh, say, two years ago. BBE goes to the state tournament. What what kind of memories uh, comes to your mind right away? Uh, just being at the Williams Arena and Target Center. That's always fun. Never played there before, so that was always exciting. Mm -hmm. All right. But the ultimate uh, final game, that wasn't so much, right? No. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. But then the next year, now last year, now same experience, or, or how was it different? Uh, well, it was nice because we've played there before, so we kind of knew what to expect. And then we knew that we wanted to get back to the state championship game and actually finish the goal that year. Mm -hmm. So now you enter this year after winning the state tournament last year. Uh, do you talk about it, say, with the coaches? Do you set goals? Or I'm sure the players talk, though, too. Uh, what do you guys talk about? Our goal is to get back there again and then get to the state championship game. And then our coach always says that too, that's our goal, so that's all right, what we're striving for. Mm -hmm. You know, as I watch uh, BBE play and with uh, head coach uh, Dave Montbryant, uh, talk about uh, Coach Montbryant for a second, how he helps you and how he encourages all the other players and uh, the, the learning process that he takes you through. Well, he pushes us pretty hard, so that's nice to have in a coach. He always, he's always there like pushing us, making sure we do everything right not slacking off, so practices, we have nice hard practices, we're ready for games. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to, uh, to highlight some of the players that you were associated with. You guys have been playing a lot of basketball. When did you get first started playing with some of these guys? Uh, I think third and fourth grade is when we pretty much all started playing together. Mm -hmm. So talk about, uh, say, go through your starting lineup and what they bring to the BBE team, will you? Uh, we got Billy Borgenin, he's like a forward end guard. 6'6", six, six, and can shoot the ball, so he's very versatile. Shoot and stay down low. And then James, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, post, very strong, athletic, quick. And then Trey Heinches, he's a nice, another guard, can shoot the ball, plays hard defense. And then Alex Wozniak, another guard, he's really quick too, plays great defense. Mm -hmm. And the style of play that uh, you guys play, how would you describe, what is BBE basketball about? Uh, playing great defense and then we always like to run and push it up and get quick transition baskets. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you too, uh, personally, uh, do you play other sports? Yeah, football and baseball. Okay, and then you play a good share amount of uh, basketball through the summer too, right? Yeah, play AU. Okay, who do you play with? The Minnesota Comets. All right, how's that been going? It's been good, it's been fun. Yeah, all right. Does it uh, help you tremendously? Do you? What I'm trying to get at is, uh, you know, you see a lot of three-sport athletes and not concentrating on one. How does that affect your basketball and your other sports, too? Uh, I think everything helps. Like, all sports kind of connecting with the different skills, and it keeps you in shape, too, a lot. So mm -hmm. that's good. And the mental aspect of it, right? Mm -hmm. To be able to handle everything? Yeah, it's, it's fun, though, for us. Yeah, okay. Talk about some of the games that you've had already and some of the big games that are that are coming up. I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but uh, who are some of the teams that you're kind of targeting right now that are going to be tough for BBE? We have a big game tomorrow against Howard Lake, so nice conference game. They're always tough. Then uh, a week, I think, we have Melrose, so that'll be a fun game. Mm -hmm. And so once you get into the playoffs, uh, who are the teams to beat in the playoffs? Uh, Battle Lake has always been good. We played it last year. That was a good game. And then there's a few other good teams in there, too. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I've seen the team play. You guys play with a whole lot of confidence, and so you keep it going, and congratulations again up to this point and last year, and, and you just keep it going, okay? Yep, thanks. All right, thank you for being with us here. This is Brian Goodwin from the BBE basketball team, and he is our player of the, the week here on MidMinnesotaSports.com.